let's come back to the to how it actually works because um, uh, you know it, for once you plug into like one API and that connects you to multiple banks, um, you know it's nice and simple. Um, but what ha what's happening in the back end? You say that there's six thousand banks. All of them have APIs. If you have a license, you can connect to those APIs. Um, it, is it like you know, just just like a uh, similar to like a Google API you plug into? Uh, is it as nice as a Google API to connect to? Do those banks follow the same standard? Can you just you know open up six thousand six thousand tabs on your website and you know kind of just go with the flow? Or like, are there different standards and and? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so usability is very fundamental question to answer if you want to work in this space, right? So first of all, there's different, let's, let's call them technical standards, right? So uh, although in Europe you have regulation that requires you to open up, uh, banks require to open up their uh, accounts over these APIs or access to these accounts, uh, still di in different countries and different banks look at this from different perspective, right? So there's different sta standards, there's a Berlin Group standard, uh, Polish have their own standard, there's different standards in the UK and so forth, right? So I, we cannot give all this clutter of information to our clients. It would simply overwhelm, overwhelm them, right? So maybe one important question we need to, un, uh, need to address is how we can standardize information. So whoever looks at this information, are you a Latvian or a Pole or Swede or uh, Portuguese? It would make all, like, all the right sense to you. So we invested a lot of time to standardizing the data, the technology. So we have one-stop shop. You don't have to think about 6,000 connections. There's one connection, there's Nordigen, and we handle everything else. 